Hello everyone, today we are going to install together Stable Diffusion on Mac. Stable Diffusion is a quite interesting tool to generate images with AI, I love it. You can modify your image, you can create very good content, beautiful images, which you can use for whatever, you know, you can print them on a cup, you can print them on canvas and you can generate beautiful content for your website and so on and so forth. So just to give you a little bit of an overview of what Stable Diffusion is, this is the interface of Stable Diffusion. You have different tabs here where you can do different things with your image. The most used one, I think, is text to image where you have the prompt, you just type something like woman in red sitting on a chair something very plain and simple and then you press generate and hopefully a very nice picture should come out there are different options you may want to use here like sampling step c half g scale which allow you to get better quality images okay cool so this is the picture we got i'm not sure it's what i was expecting but it's definitely a woman with a red dress sitting on a chair so cool we would have got probably better results if we change some options here like increasing the sampling step or just adding some more details in our prompt or in our negative prompt but for now i'm happy like that so let's install it so the first thing we want to do is open our terminal to do that you can just uh, go in the search bar and type terminal and you have the terminal here now i don't really like using this uh, default terminal so i'm going to use warp which i think is really cool and now we are ready to start installing stable diffusion so the first thing we want to do is to install homebrew this is the home page and homebrew is very useful because it allows you to install some tools which you cannot install with apple so if you want to install it on your mac it's pretty easy you just grab this code you copy and you paste it in your terminal click in here and then we go into the terminal and we paste it it will ask for the password of your laptop insert it and then you press enter and then again you need to press enter boom installed it okay cool so after we need to install or to update the software these are python rust git and others just copy and paste this into your terminal and press enter if you don't have them the terminal is just gonna install them on your computer if you have them already no worries the terminal will tell you that you have already installed them and if you have already installed them but they are not up to date the terminal is going to update them so perfect after that, we want to create a folder in our computer where we are going to download our stable diffusion model. I want to do that in my document folder. So documents, right click new folder and I'm going to call it stable diffusion. Call it however you want to. Now we want to download stable diffusion. To do that, we can go into GitHub. So we need to go into this repository which is automatic 1111 stable diffusion web UI. We go into here, code, and then we copy this link over here, the HTTPS link. We copy it and then back to our terminal, we dive into the folder we just created. So let's have a look to where we are. And then we go into CD, documents, stable diffusion. Cool. And then he's here in this folder here, which we just created within documents, where we want to paste our code we just copied from GitHub. So we'll type git clone and then we paste. Cool, that was easy. If we go back to our folder and we go into stable diffusion, we see that there is another folder within that, which is called stable diffusion web UI, where we have all our documents we just downloaded from github so now that we have downloaded it what we want to do we want to download the weights of the model as well and then we need to paste them or drag and drop inside this folder here you will see there is this text file which says put stable diffusion checkpoints here where we can find these checkpoints there are different websites uh, with checkpoints available 
The one we are going to use today are those from Hugging Face, Stable Diffusion version 1.5. This is the link and then if we scroll a little bit down we'll see here download the weights and we have different weights in this case. We can download both of them, we can download just one, it's really up to you. I like having more weights because when working with Stable Diffusion you can compare images generated with different weights at the same time so it's I think it's quite interesting. To download them, we just click on the hyperlink over here. So one and two, the download is automatic. Once downloaded, I have them in my downloads folder. Here they are. And now I just want to move them into the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. To do that, we go back to this folder. So models, Stable Diffusion, and we are here. We just drag and drop or copy and paste this file. Cool, and now we have them here and we are ready to run in our terminal. So let's go back to work. What we want to do is to go into the stable diffusion folder we downloaded. So in this case, we are in stable diffusion, right? So at the moment we are here, we are in this documents, stable diffusion, so here. We wanna go inside this folder here. So to do that, we just type cd and the name of the folder. And now here you will see the directories has changed to Stable Diffusion Web UI. If we look at what's inside this folder, it's fine, it's what we were expecting. And what we want to do, we just want to run this file over here. To do that, we're going to type the name of the file and press enter. Now this is installing Stable Diffusion. It will take a little bit of time, like around 10 minutes roughly, depending on the power of your computer. So I'm gonna pause the video now and see you later. Okay, that's cool. So we finished downloading it. We can see here there is a URL link. We can just copy this and paste it into our browser like this and boom, we have stable diffusion now. How cool is that? Okay, we're done with that. So you have now stable diffusion on your Mac. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, just write down then in the comment section and hope to see you soon. Bye.